Once you graduate after two years in Sean Lu, there should be no reason you can't get a job. Oh, they were great people. My mom and father were really good. My mom was a housewife and uh, my father was a merchant marine. At first, when, when we first started, I remember living in the projects, in the high street projects. So I ended up joining the Diamond Gang and um, I started using drugs in 59. I started jailing in 61 and it was in and out of jail that way for the rest of my life. And there were times that my little girl, Sasha, would be outside the gates of San Quentin waiting for me. And she would be a little girl when I went in. And when I come out, she'd be a young lady. I'd always say, okay, Sasha, when daddy comes home, he's gonna be good. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. The minute I hit the streets, I forgot all the promises and went back to the same thing. And uh, I just thought, man, I gotta do something different. You know, this is not working. I'm 47 years old. And then in 1993, after being out of Quentin like 13 days, I went into Delancey Street, which is a two-year residential re-educational facility also. When I was at Delancey Street, New Mexico, that's when uh, Sean Lute, the people from the Cook and the Tribal Council, got a hold of Mimi and said they'd like to replicate a Delancey Street in Alaska. They wanted me to come up and be the uh, administrator, be the director. Sean Lute, like Delancey Street, gives him a place to get out of all that rat race, out of all that negative peers that they've been putting and put him in a place where they can actually be with people who are on the same road, on the same path. So they come to Sean Lute. Most of them have at least three programs they've already been to and at least that many years in prison or more, three to five years. Um, they have no real um, vocational skills. It's all the residents that run this. A diner, we have a moving company, we have a landscaping company, we have a small construction company, and we have a catering company, that we, um, and we have a janitorial service. Jobs that we have gotten, Credit Union One, we do the bank, and you think about that, how great is that, you know what I mean? And they trust us, and because they trust us, we value that trust. And it's also ways of making money so we can help keep our doors open too. If you can imagine, it costs a lot of money to operate a place like this. One thing that when we first come into a neighborhood, just like when I was in Delancey Street, most of the facilities we put there, we met resistance all the way. They didn't want us, they didn't want us, because they're drug addicts and criminals. Until after we're there for a little bit, then they just welcome us all the way. We do a lot of volunteer work. We want to teach our men, because most of the time before Sean Lu, we were take, take, take. Now we want to teach them to give, give, give. Become a good, happy, healthy, prosperous member of society who does whatever it takes to make your life good and to help others along the way. When they first come to Sean Lu, they have low self-esteem. They really haven't accomplished much. All they need is a willingness to change. We will be their motivating factor until they can do it themselves and knowing that they can accomplish it if they persevere and keep going forward and don't give up.